Mr. Khan versus Gina. You ask for it. You stand before King Rastakhan. All right, some cheap battle cries for my quest. Not really sure if I should be keeping armor vendors compared to things that are either double battle cries or card draw, but seems fine for now. I guess I'll just play a couple armor vendors here so the mage can't make use of their hero power this turn. Explosive ruined. Well, that's fine. Let's take haunting visions because the other two were terrible. Check for counterspell, I guess. Sure. Uh, whatever I take here costs zero. I guess we'll just go chain lightning. Actually, I guess lightning bolt is better than chain lightning, isn't it? Just leaves me with a better board. I do overload, but doesn't seem like that's that big of a deal next turn. Tour guide, huh? Uh, I guess I just tour guide Mana Feeder Panthara here. There's Mancrick. Uh, next turn might just be Mancrick Zola. We're gonna have some fun. Sure. This did seem like a Reno deck, given how slow they're playing. And the Wand Thief. Next turn I'm on 5 mana. Amazing. I might just play another Mancrick next turn. And then we can follow up with Mancrick plus Elec. Lotheb, sure. Lotheb doesn't do a whole lot to my deck. Mana Feeder Panthara. Uh, let's go ahead and play that, and then we'll just play a Kobold Lackey here. Card draw, love to see it. Is there a second secret? Well, both off Tome, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if I get exploded. 
My opponent's board is starting to get a little bit out of hand. I do have this landslide, but it's currently not overloaded. Venomous Scorpid is pretty likely to find an overload card. But even if it does, it could be Counterspell. I guess Scorpion is still the way to go. I mean, Tidal Wave can be insane next turn. Not super likely to die here. Torrent? There's no way I played a spell last turn. Hmm. No overload. I guess I'll just take another Tidal Wave. I'm going for a Taunt Lackey here, I guess. Amazing. Beautiful. Okay, I'm actually going to survive this turn, most likely. Then next turn we'll just go Landslide Tidal Wave. They didn't hit my taunt, so I'm not dead to just like a fireball here. Can't imagine that deck plays fireball, but maybe it does. I guess it plays Roaring Torch, right? Alright. Wow, it was Counterspell. That's shocking. So... I guess I want to block Rigged Fair Game. So I'll do this, even though it can be Flame Ward and Ice Barrier. Oh, that's a 4-5 now. I see. I'm in an okay spot here, though. 23 health. I have to imagine that duck's not very burn-heavy. And I've seen explosive runes already. I've seen Occult Conjurer, which is like the scariest tempo card that they have, probably. Another secret, jeez. So I could just play Shutterwalk here. I don't really need to, I think. I hope you like my Maybe this is like a potion of polymorph. Two sandstorm elementals. I hope you like my invention. So many pairs. Oh, Cloud Prince. This deck kind of goes in, I guess. But I've seen Counterspell already, so I can cast Tidal Wave here for free. Oh. Starliner is 14 damage. Starliner is not lethal. And even if it was, it could be Ice Block. So I want to heal this turn for sure. Um, I've seen Flame Ward, so going face is pretty safe here, right? Oh, 
What is the secret? Does it just have to be ice block at this point? I mean, I guess it could be like mirror entity. This one can be potion of polymorph. Probably just Ice Block plus Rigged Fair Game. Could be Oasis Ally, actually. So the deck is over 50% Olgras. It is Oasis Ally. Let's go ahead and heal up a bit here. Still another secret. This one has to be Polymorph Potion. So it's definitely rigged fair game and ice block. I don't think I care too much about my opponent drawing cards here, because I am at 30. But I probably should have gone face for 3 instead of killing Mad Scientist. My opponent does have this Kazakus and they have Zephyrus still. So, uh... This game isn't free. I can gain a lot of armor with Shutterwalk, though, especially if I use my uh, Tour Guide Hero Power with it. No chance they have more secrets. Shutterwalk is definitely going to draw my deck. I feel like if I play Shutterwalk here and hit all my Olgras, I can maybe lose to like Big Reno. Or even like Zephyrus Twisting Nether. Let's just see what Cable Rat can do. Nefarian's pretty cool. Sarah's really good. Wow, what a terrible Kazaka's potion. Why would you ever build that? Hopefully I don't hit all of my man cricks here. Oh, perfect. I hit exactly two of them. Uh, pretty sure I just star align. Hit my opponent for a casual 14 here. And then my deck is still four Olgras and another star aligner. So, uh, pretty good chance I can just do this again next turn. And I've seen Reno already, so even if it's ice block... Uh, I'm in pretty good shape. I can also potentially Shutterwalk a Star Aligner, but that's a little bit difficult to pull off. 
Uh, it's a little bit difficult because the Shutterwalk itself does not have 7 health, so I need 3 7 health minions in play already. Which, uh, my current board state is that. But I could hit, like, a Titanic Lackey and buff one of the 3 7s, and then suddenly the Starliner Battlecry doesn't go off. So it's a bit weird. Alright, I guess my turn was just too powerful. No more Olgras, please. Nice. Ice block, sure. Starliner, too powerful. Priest is pretty scary. I do like Sludge Slurper. Zola is pretty good as well. She's the second most important ca card to find after Mancrick. And she can also be used to just like copy a novice engineer or something if I need it. So I think she's a keeper. Tuber Guide. So I have five cheap Battlecry minions already. Should be pretty easy to finish the quest. I'll just trade the Cable Rat with that, that's fine. Could've gone Sludge Slurper, but it's a worse trade for me, and uh, wasn't necessarily a given that I would want to play the Lackey I picked up. I mean, I could've just played Tour Guide, but whatever. These are all pretty terrible. We'll take the cheap one. Uh, Draconic Lackey is a pretty bad pickup in this deck, I would say. I guess I'm killing that with Kobold Lackey. Uh, armor Vendor? Sure, we'll complete the quest here. And then I guess I'm just coining out a Mana Feeder Panthara, just so I don't float one mana. Alright, there's Mancrick. So if I feel like I could wait until turn 8, then I have Hero Power Mancrick Zola. I could also just go Hero Power Mancrick next turn and then assume it lives. This is not That's kind of sketchy, I would say. But uh, I have seen Shadowward Pain already. And it's not like I have infinite time against this free stack. I think Mancrick sitting on the board by itself is actually pretty unlikely to die. No shot, they're going for a potion to kill Mancrick here. They're just looking for card draw, I think. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and use the tour guide here, I guess. So we have Hero Power, Man Crick, Novice, into Hero Power, Man Crick, maybe like a Cable Rat thing. And then we can even Shutter Walk for Triple Man Crick. Nice. 
not really a great target for the potion there. But my opponent's probably quite happy to draw two cards. Okay, I found an Elec for next turn. That's really good. So I'm going to have eight Olgras in my deck. And then at that point, it's just a matter of drawing Star Aligner. No Raza yet. My deck is 40% Olgras. And the only card I really don't want to see here is Psychic Scream. But even then, a lot of these are pretty good draws. It just kind of buries my star aligners a bit. That is fine. The only one that was kind of bad was Shutterwalk, and it wasn't even that bad. Oh, my opponent's minion lived? Jesus. Uh, I mean, I probably just play Shutterwalk here. Don't really have too much time to fuck around against that deck, although I do have more time since they don't have Raza. Uh, Shutterwalk is only going to draw one card, right? So this isn't going to be too much of a disaster. I do fill my hand here, but that's fine. So now my deck is 50% Olgras. Not a bad overdraw. So what am I actually doing this turn? My hand kind of sucks, doesn't it? Probably just make some lackeys. Maybe I just play the evasive draconid actually. I don't really want to overload too much. If I go down below 9 mana, then I can't double star aligner when I draw it. And I am 2 out of 9 to draw a star aligner next turn. Let's just do this and then play the Evasive Draconid. I've seen Shadow Reaper and a win, so having two 7-7s seven in play isn't too bad. Psychic Scream is annoying. None of these are that useful, so we take the cheap one, and once again, nine cards in hand. Whenever your weapon is destroyed, gain plus one, plus one. Right into the scorpion. Beautiful. Alright, so that's gonna draw Reno and then Raza. 
Unless, of course, my opponent already has Reno. So basically the Raza is coming down soon. All right, we're getting in there. Damn, maybe I should have traded my guys off. All right. Ten cards in hand. Let's trade these off. And then we will go... Landslide, Cable Rat, and then play a Lackey. Sure. I've seen Psychic Scream already. My opponent might need to go like Zephyrus plus uh, Twisting Nether to clear this board. There's the Raza. Maybe they clear my face instead of my board. Opening up room for more Olgras. Amateur mistake. Wow, they're just playing the Zephyrus here. It's kind of interesting. I feel like there's no way for them to deal with this board without that Zephyrus. Maybe they just get Twisting Nether here anyway. So I have 12 in play, I need 8 from hand, which I definitely just have, so that's good. Beautiful. 